my mind. If it wasn't 3 in the morning, I'd be flipping out right now. We are now on the road to 200 subscribers. So be sure to subscribe and leave a like because I make NBA content just like this every single day. So there, there's your reason right there. Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to this Karan Lewis my career and as you can see we are a member of the Toronto Raptors and you're wondering wait a minute weren't you a part of the Phoenix Suns last time yes I was but here's the thing EA Sports and NBA Live decided to do what we thought was the impossible they decided to do what has never been done and that is to update the roster after free agency this has never been done in next-gen sports games Madden NHL I believe FIFA, all all that, NBA 2K even, they have never updated their rosters after free agency. They've always waited till their new games. Well, NBA Live said, F it. They don't have the rookies, which makes sense, obviously. But they do have every single signing so far. Big signings like Durant and Kyrie to the South, I mean, to the Brooklyn Nets. But one thing I noticed was every free agent signing, one year, $1 million deal. So that that's kind of a bummer. But I don't plan on doing more than one season, so it's not really that big of a deal for me. I'm not planning on doing more than a season with um on the Raptors. So I'm just going to go through one season with Karan Lewis, his last season, try to win another chip, and then that's it for NBA Live. So let's see. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe because I make NBA content every single day. And we're going to go through like the, the big moves. As you can see, you know, obviously. They even had the updated um, ratings. Like Pascal's a 90 now. That's new. We'll go through some bit the big teams, the big changes, like KD and Kyrie and DeAndre all on the Brooklyn Nets. And some players aren't on their new teams like Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Um, let's go to the Lakers, who now have Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins. Also Avery Bradley down there. We can go to the Miami Heat, who got Jimmy B Buckets. And you know, they obviously signed free agents in the off uh, not the offseason, but in free agency. But they got Jimmy B. Buckets on the team. And we go to the Clippers. They got Kawhi and Paul George on the team. And for some reason, they still have Shy Gilgis. So I guess that part of the trade didn't go through. The OKC trade went through. I'm going to show you that right now. But for some reason, Shy Gilgis is still on the Clippers. We got Kemba and Enders Canner on the Boston Celtics. We got the 76ers, obviously, at full strength right there. We got the Warriors with D'Angelo Russell, who was coming off the bench for some odd reason. And we will go to the Thunder, who have CP3. Once again, no um, Shy Gilgis for some reason. And the Rockets now have Russell Westbrook on the team. So this team in NBA Live is going to be insane to play against. And let, let's see if we can actually beat this Warriors team. Watch us get spanked by this team. I don't know if my little, you know, rhythm was matched up with the actual sound because I have the TV muted. But we're going up against this Warriors team. Both of us are two and one, so one of us is getting our second loss of thine season. And I found, I think I found out um, Karan Lewis's permanent number. As you know, um, what's his name? Gerald Johnson's permanent number is number nine, I mean 18. So that's his number forever. Probably, more than likely. Cedric, oh Jesus Christ, Marcus all. Cedric Lewis's number is number 11. All right, that's, that's Cedric Lewis's number. Harold Johnson's number 17. So I figured, all right, let's make Karan's number 19. And as you can tell, all those numbers are unique. Like, those numbers are barely used in the NBA, as Seth Curry is going to miss that shot. And apparently NBA Live has been adding a lot of updates to this game. Oh, I just broke! I just broke Clay's ankles! Clay, where are you going, my dude? Where are you going? By the way, obviously the injuries aren't updated. You know, Clay's playing, KD's playing. But dude, Clay Thompson just got destroyed. Look at this. Look, I know it's on All-Star difficulty, but still, I haven't played this game in months. Months, I say. And a lot of people are saying since NBA Live updated their rosters after free agency, first of all, I just effed up that play. They're saying that NBA Live 20 might not be coming out. First of all, that's false if anyone's thinking that. There's no way because they updated the rosters, NBA Live 20 just canceled. 
They haven't said anything about that. There was, there's no rookies that were added. They did this same thing for Live 16, even though there wasn't a Live 17. They did the same thing, except there wasn't every free agent. So, hey, I don't, I don't, I think Live 20 is still going to be here. I think NBA Live is waiting till the next gen, like next next gen consoles, to really like make their mark. I think that's what NBA, that, that's what EA is waiting for. And I hope that's what they're waiting for. Because EA, they have so much potential for this game, graphic-wise and gameplay-wise, to make it great. Like, look at FIFA. Honestly, look how good FIFA is. NBA Live can be just like that. Oh my god, they still haven't fixed blocking. Slow the hell down. Everyone needs to move out of my way. I call isolations for a reason. That means move. Oh, 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 in the lane. Dunking it down! Giving us a seven-point lead going into the second quarter. But they do have four seconds to bring it up the court. That's plenty of time. Especially when you got Klay Thompson and D'Lo on the court. They got D'Lo inbounding it. Two. One. J oh, that's Jalen Brunson. Hell no. Hell no. 26-19 at the end of the first. Let go. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, you're a bum. You're an actual bum. Who is number 13? Hell to the now, now, now. Why is OG wearing number 5? Okay, OG, just drain that mid-range. Oh, that's Stanley Johnson. Never mind. I thought that was OG Anobi. Why would I want to do it when I had Marcus Saul clear on the break? And why can't I pick up the ball? What? Let's look at let's look at this replay. Let's look at this action replay. This is why NBA Live has failed so far. I say failed very lightly because it's not terrible. Like the AI in NBA Live is so stupid. Honestly, look at this. The, I am staring at the ball. I am literally staring at the ball. And my guy doesn't pick it up. It hits Alec Burks in the head. Dude, it literally hits him in the head. He flinches and no one picks, no one proceeds to pick it up. How do you not pick this ball up? I don't get it how I don't pick it. I would be fine if Alec Burks picked it up. Because it hit him in the face. It literally hit him in the face. It fell in my lap. Right there. You pick up the ball at that moment. My guy is just standing there and went through my thigh. That's why NBA Live may never beat 2K. Because of stuff like that that's easily fixable. But, you know, it just gets neglected. Just gets neglected. I have no stamina left. And Stanley effing Johnson just broke Clay Thompson's ankles. Stanley Johnson, Mr. 5 points per game, can't hit a shot for his life, just broke Clay Thompson's ankles. Let that sink in for a minute. I don't care they were up nine. This is these are the issues with NBA Live that don't get fixed. They fix a lot of things. I'll give them credit, but the stuff that needs to be fixed is never fixed. Am I gonna hit it? That's a bad release. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Thank you, NBA Live. Thank you for your logic. Okay. Oh, I thought that went in. All right, I got 21 point shooting. Very good. Kyle Lowry shooting terrible. He's got seven. But Pascal never missed. He's got six points, so that's pre that's pretty legit. Um, Glenn Robinson, I allowed 12 points from, and he's their leading scorer. I am the play. I almost have a triple double already. Oh wow. Okay, triple double incoming. <laughs> you really thought you'd hit that? I don't care, Curry. You can hit that shot. You really thought you were gonna hit that, Glenn Robinson? Oh, you're a funny dude. Kyle Lowry, oh my goodness, that was a dumb shot. Oh, I finally get subbed out. Let's see if we can keep this lead. Up by five, they scored. And we're down by four. Let's go. Yay, I can't believe it. This happened in the Magic game too. This exact thing happened. Why would you have bottom of the bench players and a 41-year-old playing right now in clutch time? And now they're going to double team me. Lynn, can you hit this, please? Thank you. Everyone's just guarded. For some reason, I got it to go. Is that an and one? That's an and one! I can tie it up. But please, I beg of you. Please bring in the starters. Please bring in the starters. I have 36 points. I have 36 point triple double. They refuse to bring in the starters. I effed it up. We st it's, still, it's a tied game. One and a half minutes left, and we got the bottom of the bench squad out here. Let's go. Let's effing go. Except for me, Marcus All. Everyone else out here is a bunch of bums. No offense to Dirk Nowitzki, but a 41-year-old Dirk is a bum. I'm sorry. Just true. I need someone. I need someone. <gasps> no, Powell. Don't you dare drive. Norman Powell. You are about to drive on that play after being wide open. Oh, my God. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I effed up. Why? Why? Why is Glad Robinson just torching me right now? Yep, this is where stars are made. This is where stars are made. Let's see if they're gonna double team me. Let's see if they're gonna double team me. And nice. Nice! 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 It passed it to... Please foul. Please foul. It passed it to Jeremy Lin instead of Marcus Gasol. Dude, I've officially had it with the passing in this game. I've officially had it. And they have me inbounding the ball. And they let Norman Powell take the last shot. They won't foul. 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 I'm gonna lose my mind. If it wasn't 3 in the morning, I'd be flipping out right now. We just lost this game. Glenn Robinson has 27 points. If it wasn't 3 o'clock in the effing morning... And I make it. I'm done. Literally F this game. Literally F EA Sports and F NBA Live. I'm ready to boycott this game if NBA Live 20 is any, anywhere close to this. Because the fact that the whole time I got subbed in, five minutes, five minutes... They had 41-year-old Dirk Nowitzki in the game. 30-plus-year-old Jeremy Lin, who's a bum now. Norman Powell, who barely gets minutes. Me and Marcus Saul in the game. Glenn Robinson dropped 28 points. I'm a wing defender, and I could even guard Glenn Robinson, apparently, because dunkers in this game are overpowered. And the fact that they had me inbounding on the potential game-winning slash tying shot... And let Norman Powell shoot it is beyond me. Beyond me. This game has shown me everything I need to see. They have shown me everything I need to see about this game. I'm all about close games, but I'm not about close games that pull bull crap like this. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. I guarantee you zero people made it to this part of the video, but I don't give an F need to be said. I'll put it at the beginning if I have to. Leave a like if you enjoy, subscribe if you're new. GG.